let's just go straight across uh, at this stage uh, uh, to Jayanti Natarajan, who joins us uh, from Chennai. Thank you, ma'am, very much for joining us uh, at this stage. Uh, ma'am, the point that Dr. Abhishek, I know this is going to be a one-on-one -on -one interview, but you know, Dr. Abhishek Manu Singh, we just a few moments back uh, said that the Congress party is disgusted in a sense with your decision to actually leave it after so many years, uh, that the timing of your decision is questionable. How do you respond? Well, I don't think the timing of my uh, decision is questionable. My letter makes it very clear uh, that uh, I sought an appointment with Madam. Undoubtedly, I met her in January and she said I would be given party work. I, of course, I wanted to do party work. I was not asking to be made a minister again. And I f freely concede that uh, the, the party uh, made me a minister, that uh, the pa I was a Rajya Sabha, as uh, Mr. Singhvi has pointed out, not a Lok Sabha member. I freely concede all that, but nobody can deny that I worked for 30 years as a loyal and disciplined uh, soldier of the party. And uh, uh, indeed, I uh, uh, met Mrs. Gandhi uh, in January, where she said I would be given party work. And uh, thereafter, nothing happened. I was removed from the panel. I was not a spokesperson, but I was on the panel. The allegations uh, which are being raised and by the Congress party today, in fact, on this program, yeah. Dr. Singh, we mentioned this a, a little while earlier on, the allegations, I use that word again, is that you were corrupt and hence you were moved out. How do you respond? See, this is exactly why I resigned, Vishnu, because these are allegations. I think uh, Dr. Singhvi, being an eminent lawyer, should name one charge, one person, one case, one wrongdoing, something. Just by spreading malice. This is the reason my letter states that I cannot take the suffocating atmosphere of malicious propaganda being spread against me. What about the BJP having false. said that there was always a Jayanti tax? Well, you know, when my own party is letting me down, why should I worry about the BJP? If they are in power now, they can check it out. The other point that has been raised, ma'am, is that you have been in touch with BJP leaders. Is that true? Have you met Amit Shah, for example? I, no, I have not met any BJP leader. None whatsoever? No. So, ma'am, the, the, your reason for, for, uh, for quitting the Congress party has nothing to do with uh, with your with with the future political decision which you may take not at all it's my anguish that yes. my family reputation is being so maligned and i did not receive an answer or an appointment with my leader or with the vice president of the congress for one and a half years after january till now one year if you like i did not receive time nor did i receive an assignment in the past i don't think it's a crime to want to ask for an assignment at the party. I wasn't asking for a seat in parliament or for a ministry. All right. Uh, Jayanti, what about the, the point about Rahul Gandhi? Were you constantly under directions from Rahul Gandhi to run your ministry? In other words, was he the remote control? No, no, that's not what I've said. That's not what happened. There were specific uh, representations made by NGOs to Sri Rahul Gandhi, which were forwarded to me by his office and uh, once uh, in one or two cases by him. And I was asked to ensure that environmental degradation did not take place. And this in some instances led to very large ticket projects being uh, denied environment clearance on valid legal reasons because I was convinced that this was so, which in turn in cabinet created considerable disquiet because many felt that the uh, ec economic environment was being ruined. And therefore, when in Fiki he spoke, saying that now the bottlenecks will be removed, it really upset me because I was asked to resign the previous day. But Jainthi, and I wrote letter, a passionate email to him. You wrote, I received specific requests which used to be directives for us from Sri Rahul Gandhi yes. and his office forwarding environmental concerns yes. in some important areas. And you speak about the Niamgari Hills in Orissa. And, the, and, and, yes, and what he believed had to be I done. Mentioned. As it turned out, what he believed had to be done was what the Supreme Court also said. But I am saying over here, yes. ma'am, based on what you have written, that he was, he was issuing you directives. Right? Is that how your ministry I, was I done? I said, no, I said he forwarded these requests. But they were he directives asked to us. That, uh, the, you said they were directives to us. I treated it us. as a directive. You I did. treated okay. it as a directive. Okay. So, the, in other words, he was the remote That's control. That's what I said. In no, other words, he was the remote he, control. He forwarded. No, I am saying 
there was a particular stand on the environment, which was the party policy which was being followed by me. And this caused considerable resentment in other circles. Suddenly, I'm asked to leave on the 20th of December. On the 21st, he spoke at Fiki saying, now there'll be no more bottlenecks. This is my problem. I want so, to know why I was removed when I was only doing party Basically, ma'am, what you're saying is on the one hand, you were given directives to use their own term from Rahul Gandhi. You followed those directives. And on the other hand, you were accused of going slow. Yes. All right. And ma'am, uh, do you believe that your decision to leave the Congress party is just the tip of the iceberg? Do you believe that there are others who are disgruntled by the Congress party? Well, you know, uh, Vishnu, I, I am totally, I, w I don't really want to comment on anybody else. I've been talking with a lot of my colleagues. Uh, you know, we've been discussing what is going on. Obviously, the party um, uh, it, it really needs a lot of discussion uh, regarding the state of affairs. But uh, I don't want to comment about it because I've now resigned and I'm no longer in the but party. I, asked I found this... it suffocating and therefore I left. I, I asked you this question, ma'am, because you have stated that you never leaked your letter to the Hindu. And therefore the inference no. has been that some of this information, this letter was coming from within the Congress party as part of a larger effort to discredit Rahul Gandhi. Is there any truth in this? I have no idea, but I did not give the letter to the Hindu. All right. As you, the Hindu will be able to tell you. Do you believe that there are others in the Congress party who believe that the decisions taken by Rahul Gandhi when the UPA was in power in pushing ministries to do or pursue a certain line were flawed? I don't know uh, if there are others who believe, uh, I don't know if he was pushing ministries to do anything. I know what happened with me and I will not like to comment further on that. Let's talk about the Adani project because uh, you've written about it. You wrote the same happened in the case of the Adani projects where I faced tremendous criticism from within the cabinet and outside for stalling investment at a time when the country was going through a difficult time in terms of the economy. The complaints of the local fisher folk and of NGOs of environmental violations in the Adani case were forwarded to me by Sri Rahul Gandhi's office. I was told to liaise with Sri Deepak Babaria in the matter. Occasionally, I apprised Sri Rahul Gandhi of steps I had taken and he responded positively. You then have spoken about another project, the stalled GVK power project. You've spoken about um, uh, the Lavasa project. You've spoken about the Nirma cement plant project as well. So in other words, are you saying that the reason decisions on environmental grounds were not taken was because of Rahul Gandhi, because he told you not to take them? I'm saying I believed in what I did. I followed uh, the letter of the law and in spirit and in the in letter. I'm saying that Sri Rajiv Gandhi in Rahul some, Gandhi, not yeah. all the cases that you mentioned, sorry, Sri Rahul Gandhi, in some, in not all, because the others were referred to me uh, by Honorable Congress President. The Dari Devi Temple was a very specific case where, uh, uh, in fact, the present uh, minister, Srimati Uma, ba sorry, Sri uh, Sushri Uma Bharati had written to uh, Congress president, UPA chairperson, expressing concern over the destruction of the Dhari Devi temple. And she was therefore concerned about that. And that is the reason why we looked, to, in addition to the other environmental degradation of the, of the entire Himachal Pradesh, Uttarakhand, causing those Uttarakhand floods. Okay. And therefore, that was the reason why that project was denied clearance by me. They later went to court and they got permission. But in the other cases, the Supreme Court upheld my decisions in Nirma uh, and in other cases. Other cases are pending in court. So I did what I thought was the right thing according to the law. But undoubtedly, I was received input from the office of Sri Rahul Gandhi. In other words, ma'am, a last question. We are running out of time. Did, uh, did you see a change in Rahul Gandhi's attitude between uh, being somebody who was, in a sense, a social activist, uh, an environmentalist, to someone who just before the elections decided he has to please big business because India is not growing. Now, I wanted to know why I was denied an opportunity to ask him what happened. And uh, I did not, I was not, I, I was not given time to meet him. And therefore, I'm not able to say what changed. So you have Thank no you. idea even after, even now, and you've already taken your decision, no. why you were removed as spokesperson, why you were removed as environment minister, you have no real reason, no, no real no explanation. Idea. I have no idea at all. 
and if others have an idea like uh, Dr. Singhvi was speaking just before me, please let them come out with it. So what are you going to do now, ma'am? I am going to, uh, I, I, I just want some peace and I want to think about what happened. And uh, are you through with I, I politics? just want to vindicate myself. No, no, I, I just want to vindicate my, the reputation of my family and myself. Thank you, Vishnu. I have to go to another channel. I know that, ma'am. Just last 30 seconds. Uh, are you going to give up politics? That's all I need to ask you, ma'am. No, I'm not. I'm not thinking beyond today. All right. Not thinking beyond today. Jayanti Natarajan, thank you so much for speaking to us. Uh, basically explaining over there how she wasn't given an, expl an explanation of the reasons why she was removed as environment minister or told to go away from the post of environment minister, but also explaining, albeit indirectly, how Rahul Gandhi was very much in the process of making all sorts of demands. And if you look at the letter that she has written uh, to Sonia Gandhi earlier on and parts of which we brought you today, it seems that before the elections took place, if Jayanti Natarajan can be believed, there was a change of tact by Rahul Gandhi from being somebody who was concerned about being given, given environmental rights in many instances to somebody who was pushing perhaps big business. We're completely out of time at this stage. It's time now for us to take this short break.